Hey, what's up, family? Welcome back to God's Development Plan. It's your girl, Lolita, and I'm here in the Daughter of David Art Studio painting. And you guys, I guess it's funny. This might be kind of a Bible study buddy moment in a way, but really, I'm just sharing, you guys. I woke up yesterday, and you know how you kind of wake up on the wrong side of the bed, as they say, but the day before that was so great. But yesterday, it's like, you know, I guess sometimes you get like bad news, and it kind of shifts your mood, you know what I mean? But anyway, I just had to ask myself on yesterday, I was like, Lord, what did I eat? I've really been pondering on that scripture that says, dwell in the land, do good, and feed on his faithfulness. I'm going to try to remember where that scripture was and put it up because I was thinking on it and I'm like, okay, faithfulness is one of the fruits of the spirit. So we're supposed to eat it. We're supposed to feed on it just like joy, just like peace, just like self-control and meekness and gentleness, you know? And I was just really focused on that. And I was like, you know, I kind of looked over at my dry erase board when I woke up and I said to myself, okay, I look, I have the fruits of the spirit listed on my dry erase board. I have, which are, you know, the nine things. And then I have another list of the things that God hates. And I also have to point out that the list of things that God, that God hates is shorter than the list that God loves. So God loves more things than he hates. I just felt the need to point that out. But anyhow, you guys, guys and I said to myself as I looked at the fruits of the spirit on my dry erase board in my bedroom I was like Lolita what did you eat today instead of eating peace you ate anxiety you know what I mean and I was like I ate the wrong the wrong thing I ate the wrong fruit and I don't know, it's just something that I've been really focused on is what are you eating? Are you eating from the Lord's table, you know? And um, I just want to make sure that I'm consuming his peace because whatever you eat is what you're going to put out. You know what I mean? I got to consume his love, his joy. Also, if we feed on his faithfulness and we feed on his goodness, then when the enemy tries to feed us something or when our flesh tries to feed us something, because it's not always the enemy, or when the world tries to feed us something, when they come to hand us that plate, we won't have any more room in our stomach to receive of that. We'll only and already be filled with what God has fed us from his table, which is his fruit, the love, the peace, the joy, the kindness, the goodness, right? And so on. And I was like, mm, if I would have ate the peace first thing in the morning when I woke up, I would have been full and I would have had no room for the fruit of anxiety, which technically is kind of like low hanging fruit because it's everywhere. Depression and anxiety. I kind of thought about it that way too. Y'all don't, I done thought about this all kind of different ways to myself you know and I felt like the Lord was ministering that to me like depression and anxiety and things like this and worry are low-hanging fruit they're easy to get to so in fact they're on the ground you don't even have to reach up and pluck them to eat them they're just available for free like medicine that doesn't really work that's not really medicine medicine with side effects not the one that heals and does no harm easy to get to you know what I mean today when I was like reading Psalms 103 and it was all about the benefits of serving the Lord and it took me right back into the fruits of the spirit and I was like kind of writing some notes because as I was reading the Bible today I kind of felt in a rush because I felt like I needed to hurry up and get out and get to the studio I felt like I needed to be getting things done I had to do my workout and I kind of needed to I you know needed to make a few stops and I was kind of feeling a little like okay let me hurry and read a little something and go and it's like the Holy Spirit was just like slow down you know, like, where are you rushing to? And it's like, it actually, I even wrote a note to myself. And I'm just going to share it with you guys because I really felt like the Holy Spirit was ministering that to me. And what I wrote was, Lolita, don't rush your meal. Eat, feed on his, his being God's faithfulness. Abide in his word so that his word may abide in you. Think about it. You wouldn't rush through a meal at the Cheesecake Factory. Y'all, that's my favorite restaurant. You would take your time and savor each bite of food, savor each bite of God's word, because his word is health to your bones and a lamp to your feet. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. 
hmm. I don't know, it just really ministered to me. I just, the Holy Spirit just gave me that. Like, why are you rushing? You know, you're rushing off from your word, trying to get to the next thing when the word is the thing before the next thing and it's the thing after the next thing and the thing you'll need during the thing you're trying to get to. Come on, somebody. Did anybody catch that? (laughs) I know I kind of said a mouthful, you guys, but I don't know. I just really... I don't know, the Lord really ministered ministered that to me, like eating, feeding on his faithfulness. Like, what table are you eating from? Don't eat from the table of despair. Don't eat from the table of depression, the table of worry, the table of low self-esteem. Eat from the table of his goodness. Eat from the table that says you're fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are his works, you know? Uh, eat from that table. So I don't know, you guys, I just was really thinking on that and continuing as I was reading Psalm 103, I kind of just jotted down some notes about those benefits of serving the Lord. Because if we take a job, don't we look at the benefits? Don't we look at if they have any health insurance? Do they have a 401k or a government retirement plan? What do they have? What are the perks? And the funny thing is, it's like we're actually the Lord's children. Parents who love their children are beneficial to their children you know and I was just reading it and like some of the benefits of the Lord that were listed in Psalms 103 was that he forgives all of my inequities y'all listen if y'all would have met me in my 20s I was a hellraiser baby I was a reveler okay I ain't no boy Woo! he done bought me a mighty long way but when I think about the goodness of the Lord like for real I think over my 20s and how such I was such a risky little devil like I was risky I'm like I think about the crap I used to pull I'm like I definitely should have either been in a ditch or locked up in some crazy person's basement because I just used to be a risk taker but by God's grace absolutely not he kept me you know um so that the Lord forgives all my inequities he heals all my diseases. You guys, I could testify to that because I got diagnosed with type 2 diabetes, but your girl doesn't have it anymore. The Lord has healed. He has reformatted, restored, and rejuvenated. It is gone, 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 gone. <laughs> and I do blood work, so I know <laughs> that is not just talking. It is gone. So be encouraged. If God can bring a dead man back to life, you know he can heal a living body that ain't went nowhere yet. A man that just has an ailment, right? So I was thinking on that because he's done it for me. And then it says he redeems my life from destruction. Didn't I just tell y'all all the risks that I used to take? He redeemed me from destruction, y'all. <laughs> and it says he crowns me with loving kindness and tender mercies. He satisfies my mouth with good things. He renews my youth like an eagle. Hmm. And you know, that scripture makes me think of my friend Joanna because we were talking about walking with the Lord and Joanna had me doubled over almost in tears because she was saying you can see the effect of certain people um, who who refuse like to walk with the Lord and just don't want anything to do with him, just going against every which way they can, like with purpose, you know, and how old they look. And I was like, I had never thought about that. You know, and she was like, walking with the Lord will keep you healthy and strong. And there's your proof right there in uh, Psalms 103. He renews your youth uh, like an eagle, you know. And I'm like, Lord, keep me. (laughs) I want to be youthful. I want to be renewed. Amen. And he's merciful and gracious, slow to anger. He removes our transgressions from us. I don't know. I'm just reading through that of the benefits. That's all literally in Psalms 103, like the benefits of serving the Lord. I'm like, man, God is so beneficial. Like he's so good. I don't know if he done it for you, but he been doing it for me. I'm like, even when I didn't know he was doing it for me, he was doing it for me. You guys, don't you ever look back on your life, you know, getting older and just like think of all the things that God has delivered you from and even the old mindsets. Sometimes I look back because I am not I don't mm -mm, I don't like to do the whole I've been perfect my whole life. I've been saved my whole life. That is a lie from the pits of hell. Okay, I'd like to reflect because if you take a moment and reflect like where God bought you from 
it's like you'll realize that you've made so much progress like he's bought you so far i think about the things that i used to think were okay that were totally wrong and the lord was like no ma'am and got me together you know because there's things we think are right and they're totally wrong so i just thank god man i really do but i'm not going to tarry on i kind of just was pontificating on the fruits you know thinking about that just meditating on that and like really talking to myself like hey you need to be eating the right fruits you need to be eating that love that peace that joy you need to not be digesting the anxiety all the time let's let's kick that fruit out it's rotten fruit let's get rid of that okay thanks have a good day okay and you guys i'm just here painting i want to know how you like the vibe do you enjoy watching me paint as i'm talking to you guys and sharing let me know how you guys feel if you guys like to the paint and chats is what i'm calling it painting and chatting paint right paint and share then let me know you know but if you guys like when i just talk to you on camera face to face that's cool too because i'm just sharing as the lord leads amen love you guys have a blessed day bye God has a plan for both you and me, but there are levels to reach before eternity. We must prepare as we share our testimony. Our lives are God's development plan yeah our lives are god's development plan